It's really important that uh, we do acknowledge and understand the role of policy in, um, in critical infrastructure resilience and to help uh, the public sector and the private sector and even community organisations if they're interested to be able to talk to each other uh, with a common language around policy and policy instruments or policy levers. And so this report uh, tries, to set, uh, tries to set that common language. It talks about what policy is, uh, it uh, talks about the range of policy instruments that are available to governments uh, in this critical infrastructure space. It also tries to articulate uh, some of the particular challenges for policy making uh, when we shift to a more resilience-based perspective. Now, I think policy uh, is an important part of the mix in thinking about uh, improving the resilience of our critical infrastructure systems. It sets, it reflects community standards about uh, and expectations about safety uh, and how we want our critical infrastructure systems to perform. Infrastructure policy is already already a really complex space um, to work in. Uh, infrastructure policy needs to coordinate across different sectors, so energy policy needs to speak to um, population or, or city planning policy, needs to speak to energy policy, needs to um, integrate with defence policy, for example. In many parts of the world, um, multiple levels of government are responsible for different parts of the infrastructure environment, and so there's a requirement to coordinate across levels of government. Now we add a change in um, background, I guess, of shocks and stresses, whether that be climate change or whether that be social unrest, whether that be um, cyber terrorism, uh, a whole range of shocks and stresses that are really changing the background context um, that policymakers have had to deal with for a long time. Uh, and so uh, resilience, if thinking about adopting a resilience uh, uh, approach uh, to critical infrastructure policy making means that we uh, need to think differently about the allocation of risk, is that policy making itself needs to change. The actual processes of policy making and the mixes of policy instruments that are available to us need to be more resilient themselves and they need to have uh, some form of adaptive learning uh, built within them or uh, able to accommodate a wider range of potential futures and uncertainties. This report is just a, um, a very first start really and an entry point to what will no doubt become um, a very important stream of work.